Hi, in this video I'm starting a series of videos on reviewing your personal life situations on the subject of love. And today I'm going to review the letter that one of the girls sent me. We recently announced to all of our subscribers that at our Dream Manifestation School, as well as Mind Power channel, we're gonna start a new format of reviewing your life situations, answers to your questions. I will personally review your specific situation and I'll make the video answering to your specific questions. But there are already so many letters, so I decided to take a few of them to make this video and review your stories. I think this is a very interesting format and if you want me to make a few of these videos, then please like this video and write a comment that you really find it interesting and useful. If there are a lot of comments and likes, I will continue this series of videos reviewing your personal stories. By the way, if you want me to review your personal story, you can share it in the comments under this video. And today I'm gonna review Lydia's story. My situation is as follows. I've known a man for a long time. I like him a lot. But we are not the same age and he is not single. I used my thoughts to make him the first one to notice me. He first texted me, then began driving me home and to work. We are colleagues. We started talking about things other than work. He helped me with studies related questions, I study for a driving license. We saw each other almost every day at work for an entire year and summer when his colleagues were on vacation. Our schedules overlap because he arranged his schedule himself a year ago. There was more interaction and then, over a month ago for reasons I don't understand, he suddenly changed everything. He rearranged the timetable so that no shifts now overlapped. We run into each other at work a couple of times a month in the evenings. I miss him at work, our rides and our communication, and I'm even more offended that I asked whether the schedule would be the same a couple of days ago. I texted that it was a pleasure to work with him and that his help and advice were helpful, but he remained silent and then texted just that the schedule had changed and that was it. I tried to find out why he did it to talk to him, but either he remained silent or when we met he proved that he did not do it on purpose and that he now needed to go through a lot of trouble to change everything and he hardly noticed how much his decision had hurt me and he devalued my comments and wishes. When we met he was very kind and caring, he made contact, communicated and showed concern. He looked as if he missed me after we hadn't spoken in three weeks weeks. I'm not sure why I got into this situation or how to fix it. I want to restore our communication. I told him right away and he responded, when we work together we communicated a lot and then he went back to work generally avoiding the conversation. My current state. I managed to switch in various ways but then I become upset and resentful that he did this. Meditations and practices only help for a short time. I'm trying to feel how he decisively changes his schedule, establishes communication as it is vital to him. I would want to have a close relationship with him, but I realize that things have gone the other way and I don't know what to do in my situation. Let's talk about Lydia's love life and how she ended up in this situation. I'd like to help Lydia on a global level as well as all the girls who recognize themselves in a similar situation. Because if I help Lydia to just make this man start talking to her again, that won't really solve her problems. Let's take a look at the problem from the top. What we observe. We observe a situation in which a woman who desires a close relationship with a man, which is a normal desire, she wants to have a good man next to her, she falls in love with a colleague who is known to be unavailable, who is known not to be seeking any relationship. It's not one of his goals and she gets into the situation. It seems normal to her, she's in love, she interacts with him, but in fact, 
What happened is she knowingly chose a man who cannot be in a close relationship with her. And she understands this. In fact, her subconscious mind understands this very well. Because, as you know, we never meet men who are not right for us. At this moment, this man is right for Lydia. You will ask why. Because right now, all of her inner beliefs about herself, the world, and men are completely consistent with this man who is next to her. She's definitely afraid of close relationships. Because if she was not afraid of close relationships, she would not consider this specific man at all. She would meet a single man who would approach her himself, show affection to her, and they would start a relationship together. Because there would be no obstacles to a close relationship in this case. But in the case of the man who's not available, who's not single, who's a colleague, and they have a working relationship, that means she deliberately makes it impossible to be with them and it's safe to communicate with them. Her subconscious thinks it's safe to communicate with them because he won't be with me anyway. It's very important for Lydia to understand that the reason is her. The global reason is her. I'm not gonna analyze this moment when they communicated and stopped. He did not connect with her from the start. They initially didn't have a relationship. It was initially moving in the wrong direction. Because her, her goal, ultimate goal, is to be happy in love, not to start conversing with this man. Well, let's imagine that Lydia will now spend a lot of time, she will do great practices and meditations from this channel. By the way, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, not to lose it. She will do great practices, he will start communicating with her, but what's next? He's taken. It's clear that he likes her, and we can see from their communication that he likes her. But if we talk not about the mind power, but simply about normal human behavior on a material level, what I see here that most likely this man realized at some point that this communication between the colleagues went too far and then he chooses the family, he wants to be with the family and he doesn't want these big changes because to get divorced is to change your whole life. The man is not ready for that and he pulled away from her. And he doesn't want to hurt her, he doesn't say just leave me alone, he quietly changes his schedule. It is critical for Lydia to embrace this hard truth that the man did this, he chose to do that. Can she change his choice? She can. But she needs to work on a larger scale, not only on this specific situation, to persuade him change his schedule. It will not change anything. It will not save Lydia's life. My dear girls, if you find yourself in such a situation, you must understand, go higher, go more global. Because doing this nonsense, visualizing that a man brought you flowers or that he just changed his schedule, and if you think that this will immediately change your love life, it will not. Everything will be the same. And why does Lydia make this request? It's not a global one, how to make him marry me, but only to change his schedule. Why does she visualize this? Because she's actually not ready. She's not ready for him to get divorced, to move in with her. She's afraid of something. Maybe she has some inner traumas or beliefs that she doesn't need a relationship because men bring her pain and suffering. But it's actually not true. And to get out of this situation, Lydia really needs to work on herself. Now I will give a few recommendations on how to do this. Well, firstly, she needs to sit down and ask herself, why don't I want a close relationship? Why does my subconscious mind refuse to have a close relationship? What am I afraid of? What I worry about? Why am I trying to avoid it? This will reveal her negative beliefs, her fears. Then she will need to work with the fears, to do various techniques and affirmations. Of course, you need to use visualizations and meditations, but for more global things, such things as 
opening the heart, opening the heart chakra, visualizing that you are living together with your man, some abstract man to begin with, you are together, everything is good and you are happy in love. You need to work with this plus practice self-love, that I am the best, I am the most amazing. All of these practices together will result in a significant leap forward, that this man will not merely change his schedule, he will basically be with you. Or on this way of your transition, of your transformation, you will meet a completely new man who you will love even more. And the girls who take my course on restoring relationships, they have these situations. They either say at the start of the course when they change internally and vibrationally, they say, why do I need this man? I want another man, right? And another man comes to them and they get married. Or they bring this man back and this man both gets divorced and everything happens the way they want. Of course, not in one month, but gradually over a few months, you can gradually become perfectly happy in love. To do this, I'd recommend for you to come to my training, because you understand that in one video I cannot give you all the information that I have accumulated over the years and that thousands of girls worked with to get results. To learn more about the course and how the mind power works and what you need to work through, I actually have a full strategy, a step-by-step -step one, and I'm gonna tell you about this at my free online masterclass. Please sign up and come, this will not be a 10-minute video, but a 3-hour masterclass. Everything will be explained in full detail to you. Bring your notepads because you will learn a lot of new information. And you will realize what exactly you need to do to change your mindset, your subconscious mind. Because until you work on your thinking, you will keep meeting the same taken men, men who do not want a relationship with you, it will be just a vicious circle. So you must start with changing your mindset, which you can do quite simply using the mind power. Find the link in the description. See you there. Bye.